Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and in this video we will discuss about enzyme inhibition and its types. So first of all, what is enzyme inhibition? So enzyme inhibition is a process by which a compound or a molecule inhibit the enzyme activity means that molecule that just either it may bind to the active site or other portion of enzyme and binding of that molecule just alter the or inhibit the activity of that enzyme so that process by which activity is inhibited is known as enzyme inhibition and that particular molecule that cause inhibition is known as inhibitor so these inhibitors are they are just divided into two broad categories first reversible inhibition and second irreversible inhibition so as the name indicate reversible inhibition so this is that type of inhibition which can be revert back means in this type of inhibition as the inhibitor is removed from the enzyme so enzyme moves to its normal working so that is reversible while in case of irreversible inhibition that the enzyme is permanently inhibited or permanently damaged these reversible inhibitors they are further of following types like competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition and uncompetitive inhibition so let discuss all these types of inhibition in detail first is competitive inhibition so as its name indicating there is a some kind of competition so here the competition is between substrate and inhibitor because here that inhibitor it resembles the enzymes normal substrate and it compete for its active site I mean, it also want to bind to the active site of enzyme like just for example this is an enzyme molecule and this is the red this this is the active site so now as this is active site and this is the enzyme so here just like this is the inhibitor which is the competitive inhibitor why it is called competitive inhibitor because its structure is similar to substrate and it binds to the active site of enzyme as you can see so now you can notice that the active site is occupied by this competitive inhibitor so now as the substrate will come like this green one is the substrate so it will not bind to that enzyme because the active site is not available for the binding so as a result when the substrate is not able to bind to enzyme so there will be no product so you can say the enzyme is inhibited by this competitive inhibitor now these are the some example of this competitive inhibition like first one that succinic acid it is converted to fumaric acid by the enzyme that is succinic acid dehydrogenase but a molecule that is malonic acid its structure is similar to this succinic acid and it inhibit or you can say it bind to the active site of this succinic acid dehydrogenase so as it inhibit the succinic acid there will be no formation of fumaric acid so this is one of the example of competitive inhibition similarly there is another example here this para amino benzoic acid that is paba it is required for the formation of vitamin b9 or folic acid in bacteria but certain sulfa drugs they have structure similar to this para amino benzoic acid so these sulfa drugs they bind to that enzyme and inhibit that enzyme which are converting this para amino benzoic acid to vitamin b9 so as due to the result of this competitive inhibition by this sulfa drug the para amino benzoic acid will not be convert to vitamin b9 and bacteria they require vitamin this for their metabolism so there will be you can say the bacteria will not able to grow so these are the two example of competitive inhibition the second type of inhibition that is reversible inhibition is non competitive inhibition here there is not any competition between the substrate and inhibitor here according to definition so in that case in non competitive inhibition this inhibitor it do not bind to the active site but it bind some other part of the enzyme and as the binding to enzyme it just alter the conformation of active sites that's why the substrate is also not able to bind to this active site like again this is an enzyme molecule and this magenta one so this represent the this magenta circle it represent the non competitive inhibitor now here you can notice that in this non competitive inhibition 
that inhibitor is not binding to active site it is binding to some other part of this enzyme as a binding of this inhibitor so there will be change in the conformation of enzyme and thus you can say that active site got altered as you can see in this diagram as the active site is not normal now so again if the substrate molecule will come like this green triangle uh, represent the substrate molecule so it will not able to bind to active site so there will be no product so in this way this non competitive inhibitor just inhibit the enzyme activity these are the example of this non competitive inhibition first example is heavy metals heavy metals like az plus means that uh, you can say this uh, hl2 plus pb2 plus so they inhibit the activity of variety of enzyme like for example urease enzyme it is highly sensitive to any of these ions similarly cyanide and hydrogen sulfide they also strongly inhibit the action of enzymes or you can say the action of those enzyme which contain the iron like catalase and peroxidase so these two are the example of this non competitive inhibition third type of inhibition is uncompetitive inhibition in this case the inhibitor it do not bind to free enzyme but it bind to enzyme substrate complex means first substrate will bind to enzyme after that this uncompetitive inhibitor will bind to that enzyme substrate complex like as you can see in this diagram this is again the enzyme here e stand for enzyme and this is the active site of this enzyme as i told you previously so now as the substrate molecule will come and it will bind to enzyme as the substrate molecule will bind enzyme it will be now converted to enzyme substrate complex now this uncompetitive inhibitor will come and it will bind to this enzyme substrate complex here again repeating in this case inhibitor is not binding to free enzyme but it is binding to enzyme substrate complex so as this uncompetitive inhibitor bind to enzyme substrate complex so now there will be a change in the conformation of this enzyme as the conformation changed so now you can see that the enzyme is not able to convert this substrate into product so by this way this uncompetitive inhibitor works example of this uncompetitive inhibitor they include first hydrazine it inhibit the aryl sulfate like hydrazine act as a uncompetitive inhibitor second example is phenyl alanine which also inhibit alkaline phosphatase enzyme in an uncompetitive manner now next type of inhibition that was the example you can say the types of reversible inhibition that is non competitive competitive and uncompetitive so these were the uh, some sub types of the reversible inhibition but now this is the irreversible inhibition here that inhibitor it bind permanently with the enzyme molecule you can say it forms a covalent bond with amino acid chain in the active site of enzyme so due to this formation of covalent bond which is a strong bond so it cause the substrate to get excluded from the active site and it's a kind of permanent inhibition means it cannot be reverted back in case of reversible inhibition if you remove the inhibitor molecules so enzyme will work normally but here the enzyme is permanently inhibited so it will be more clear in this diagram like this is again the enzyme molecule and as the irreversible inhibitor so inhibitor will come and it will bind permanently by forming covalent bond here this this blue line it represent the covalent bond so there is a permanent binding of this inhibitor with enzyme so as a result the enzyme is permanently inhibited and not able to revert back to its normal state according to if this is permanently damaged so the substrate is not able to bind now the example of this include first idoacetamide so idoacetamide it act as a irreversible inhibitor and it irreversibly inhibit the catalytic activity of some enzymes by modifying their cysteine residue and other side chains similarly the next example is diisopropyl phosphofluoridate dipf so it is a very potent irreversible inhibitor of enzyme that have active cyril residue at their catalytic sites so this is all about the enzyme inhibitions and their
types that is competitive, non-competitive, uncompetitive and irreversible inhibition. So that's all for today guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.